Kopla and welcome my friends. I'm Hrotrak and we are playing uh, Stellaris. We're playing it with the uh, total conversion mods, uh, Star Trek New Horizons. We're playing as the Klingon Empire with insane difficulty. Welcome back. Um, we are currently busy actually looking for the Sword of Kalis in here. Um, now we're here with our science ship on the, uh, on the uh, moon of this planet. Uh, we're looking for the Herc. Um, who was an, an ancient invader race that actually stole the sword of Kalis from us, which is not good. Um, yeah, people keep insisting that I name one of the sectors um, House Quark. <laughs> and yes, I've seen the episode um, of Deep Space Nine. Still not sure if I want to do that, because it could actually be taken as a bit of a joke, having a Ferengi, having a Klingon house being led by a Ferengi, so... I think I'm gonna abstain from that, but yeah, <laughs> I appreciate the inside. I appreciate the inside joke. Um, uh, Dr. Clank has actually suggested that we send a construction ship into the Gorn system before we move our fleet in. Might be a good idea. What are we paying for a construction ship? 157. Yeah, I guess that's uh, viable. I guess that is actually a viable thing. All right then. All right then. Uh, we're still having problems with the food, and uh, it has been suggested that that is because the sectors are not really building up any food production, which could definitely be a thing. Do you have any food production? Hmm. I wonder if I build these. Difficult to say. Difficult to say. They're actually reaching the end level of their growth. I'm glad that I have the. Um, the noxious swamp removal in terms of research now. Can I actually remove those tile blockers? Cannot afford to clear the tile. Cannot manage planet tiles and sectors. Really? I cannot afford it? I do have enough stuff though. So, I guess you're just making fun of me then. Um, no good food tiles on here. Not too much to clear in here. Oh yeah, there's no... There's no tile that I want that I could clear on this planet. So, I guess, screw all this. Hmm. Shame, really. I can't clear any useful tiles with the swamp uh, removal that I got. Oh, well then. We'll live with it. We'll just live with it. Um, What are we researching currently? Research speed for society. Yeah, that's good, actually. We're researching the photonic torpedo, so um, that's going to help our ships um, do more damage. So you can see that the heavy photonic torpedo is going to be 14.16. Uh, what are we doing currently? This is a light torpedo with 421. Oh no, we're, we're both using light ones. How's that going to impact us then? 485 compared to uh, what? 416? 4, 4, 421. 485. Yeah, okay. That's still something. Still some additional damage. Um, ethics. We're really getting all this egalitarian bullshit because our leader, for some reason, uh, Chancellor Duras, is actually a chief of the full enfranchisement party. That's just annoying as hell, I gotta say. That's just super annoying. Um, when will our next election gonna be? 90. Really? I could spend some influence to just hold an emergency election, just get rid of the bugger. And uh, yeah, that might actually... Actually, that might be the way to go. That might be the way to go. I mean, I could also reform the government and actually move towards an imperial rule. The problem is that our guy... We must at least wait one year. Oh. Okay, wonder why that is. I can't get rid of the great houses, so that doesn't really help me. And I want to keep the warrior cultures to actually strengthen the militarism in our in our state. So no, that's not going to happen. But I guess I could go for the emergency election, just try to get him unelected, because he's actually pushing people towards the um, towards the egalitarian ethics. Uh, like, we have a militarist over here, and if we have a look at the attraction... Yeah, I mean, Agatharian has definitely dropped in terms of attraction here. How many Agatharian pops do we have? Mm, 
17 with an attraction of 17. They're super unhappy, and I get why. I mean, that's a thing. Anti autocratic. Hmm. Yeah, we, we don't want any of that. We don't want any of the things that makes this um, party happy. I think we might actually want to reform into a full empire again. After we got rid of the fool. So let's go for a emergency election. Although I won't have enough influence to actually influence the election. So that's a bit of a problem. I mean, at least we're suppressing them. So that's a thing. We have the development... Uh, de develop industry um, agenda so that's good actually yeah let's just let's just move on um, I will have to build more food stuff on the smaller planets hope that these guys actually grow to uh, a sufficient degree what I could do what I could do is I could where are we Haley no not Haley prime beta lankal prime when you got three pops on there what we could do is uh, modify them. And modify our normal species, but only the guys on Beta Lankal Prime. Well, we've got to modify four pops apparently. Um, give them the fast grower, rapid breeders over here. Um, it only costs us 200, which would be 10 months. I think we're going to go for that, just so that I can fill that garden world with food. At least that's my idea. Yeah, I, I think we'll do that. Trade picks left one, but yeah, nothing else to do. Let's go. And uh, let's do it. Eight months, yeah. Should be fine, should be fine. I mean, yeah, we could do more with research. It has also been suggested that I should go for more colonization even. I've already been colonizing like mad. I'm not sure that's a really good idea. Let's go to the fast speed. I'm still tempted to do an emergency election. Because the, the problem is if the faction leader um, belongs to an ethic that you don't want. Uh, uh, if the faction leader of an ethics that you don't want is actually your leader. That has a lot of, gives, gives it a lot of attraction for your pop. So we are unlikely to actually curb the size of the egalitarians in our empire significantly. I don't think that's gonna happen. I really don't want to build my my nice big core planets. Um, I don't want to make them full of food production stuff just because the sectors don't really do their thing. That's a bit annoying. Hmm. 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 But we're already losing food again. Stupid sectors. Stupid sectors, really. I gotta say. Well, I guess we need some hydroponics over there. Yes, yes, you're out of work. Deal with it. Research complete. Anti-matter weaponry. Very good. Um, what do we get now? Transport hub. Mass transit post. Oh, that's a planet thing. Migration speed plus 50%. Resettlement cost minus 25%. That actually sounds really good to fill planets. Defense satellites is night. Oh, yeah. Mining network and industrial district. That could actually be very helpful. In orbit around strategic locations will not stop a determined attacker, but should deter pirates and lesser threats. I mean, it's definitely much cheaper than the other two attacks, so let's go with that one. Knock that one out. And uh, we're already minus two in terms of food. Stupid sectors. Stupid sectors. I mean, it's nice that the population is growing, but... Really? Really? Um, where's house battle? How does that planet look? Oh, yeah, the planet is um, nearly filled. What are your plans? Let's have a look if the sectors will actually clear out the tiles. Constructing building. Basic hydroponics farm on Tau Hydra Prime. So they are... No, they are actually building hydroponics. Uh, apparently they just can't hold a um, step with it. Hmm. All right, then. guess that's fair. I guess that's fair. I'll try to I'll try to catch up with my planets then. The whole food 
deficit thing. Although we really don't want to fall into another starvation bout. Can we go for more food on here? I mean, I could upgrade the building. Uh, the thing is, I also really need the ships to finally end the war with the Gorn and do something else. Mm, and I guess I could build another food building on here. Switch, uh, switch that person over there. Oh, so months of searching deep in the caves of the moon Herc have at last borne fruit. The expedition force has uncovered an ancient Herc base. While most of the equipment is decayed beyond repair, a number of items appear to have some remaining functionality. One device appears to contain a list of obsolete military encryption codes. It will take time, but the expedition force leader believes these new codes may open up more clues from the original Herc datapad. And we get a bunch of engineering research, which is most welcome. Very nice. Research complete. Okay. Advanced quantum theory. Stop it. Secondary deflected dish. It's just a component though. I really don't think we need that. Face discrimination. These are also just components. These are reactor cores though. Central fusion medium station. No, oh, these are just station components. Well, I guess we're going to go for this. I, I want to see what the stations are like. Um, didn't really go for the redesign here. I should have. So let's do that now. So let's go for photonic torpedoes. Save it. And we're going to do the same over here. Save that. And that should allow us to upgrade our fleet once again. Yeah, 55. It's not it's not expensive, so we can just do that. Um, our science ship is currently not doing anything. Oh yeah, because you're ready looking at Herc. Okay then. Nothing inside... Well, no, that's not quite inside our border. There are enemies in here. Just looking for stuff that I can look at inside our borders. I guess we've run out of stuff. So, survey that system. Um, no, no, wait. Yeah, what I what I should do is I should finish serving the Mchar system, and then we're gonna go Urindia and Muleon is apparently already done. Yeah, so let's go for Gamma Eridion then. Ships. Upgraded. Okay, oh yeah, that actually brought us a fair amount of boost. Sword of Kalos. All but two of the encryption codes were useless against the original database. Um, while the first match unlocked little more than a user interface tutorial for the datapad, the second has given us the next target in our quest for the sword. A jungle world light years away is listed as being the site of a Herc medical facility. The flora there, flora there possessing some properties healing to their race. Okay, jungle expedition. We're getting some physics research, which is very wo very welcome. Um, where's that track on map? Oh, yeah, perfect. <laughs> um, all right, we're going to send our science ship in there. Like, and to orbit. Well, we've got to we've got to survey the the planet first, I guess, before we can do the thing. Oh, wh what do we do? What do we have to do? Herc investigation, jungle investigation. Scientist is present, skill one or higher. Okay, yeah, we just gotta enter the orbit then. All right, all right. Mm, can upgrade our physics buildings, but I really want an additional. I really want an additional destroyer before we do that. Which is gonna stretch us to the limit. In Station. terms of strength, uh, in terms of uh, naval capacity. But oh well. At least the Imperial Fleet is still an imposing force. Um, we could research the Nausicans. Inferior and equivalent. These guys are inferior in both in both uh, things. I mean, I could just attack them, and vassalize them. Station complete. What are they? They are materialists, so just vassalizing them on our own might actually be the best idea here. Species modified. Um, the goal won't peace. <laughs> no, <laughs> not gonna happen. Oh, that's actually, yeah, that's a 24 size tropical planet over there. 
I... What? I wasn't in there before, was it? Have I just been overlooking that one? That's never happened to me. It looked... Oh, I was just... Okay, okay then. I take it. Uh, we definitely got to build a... Um, colony ship then. I'm not about to give that one away to anyone else. I think I will actually put a giveaway beta land called Prime then. Um, how's the how's the the modification come, coming along? Or are they already done? Are you fast growing? Yeah, you're a rapid breeder, which should uh, make this progress a lot faster. I mean, ten percent. It's not huge, but it's something. It's definitely something to Station keep in mind. Complete. All right, we've got another research station going in that system. More engineering research. Mm. Do I want the addition of mining stations? And how far are we in terms of unity production? I mean, in eight months, we'll be able to unlock something else. Um, increasing the pop growth time, which I'm looking forward to very much. Um, yeah, no, I think I'm going to keep the minerals to actually queue up a colony ship on Kronos. I want that. I want that planet. So science ship is surveying that planet, which means that I'll be able to settle it soonish. What is that one? Marshland. Minshara class world. Abnormally high ratio of water vapor in its highly charged atmosphere. Um. Right. Could you could you do that? Could you do the research project? That would be nice. Thank you. Okay. Construction ship. Okay, there's another ship coming along. Maybe we'll wait until we have actually 2,000. Station complete. And then we do the Antec. Uh, another... I tell you what, we got a free construction ship now that we're not using. Let's just have a look into the Gorn system. Just to be... thorough. Okay, and you can go and build the mining stations in there. Let's have a look at that planet. Yeah, I mean, that's a really good planet. I think we're going to put our thing down here. Our planetary administration. Getting nice adjacency bonuses. And we've got the defense satellites. That's nice. Um, Large-scale construction, which gives us plus 5% um, engineering research speed. I take it. Um, let's have a look at the design that we got now. Orbital satellite. What do you do? How much hull points do you have? Just 600? Stations need power to be able to function in deep space. Yeah, that's fine. Mm, could put some weapons on there. I, normally I never use these, but maybe they're actually more useful. I mean, we could give these guys the... Um, where are they? The emergency bulkheads? Bring them up to a thousand hull points? That's still not... That's still not great, though. I mean... Mm, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Can't wait for the bigger stations, though. I want to build my own Deep Space Nine station. Imperial Fleet. Still chilling out. Let's see what kind of strength the Gorn can bring to the table. There's the constructor. Moving along. Yeah, and now inferior, which is good. Okay, Sword of Kalis. The Batleths cutting a path through the dense foliage. The expedition force has located the remains of a hospital facility and pharmaceutical research center. The building complex has been gutted of equipment. The expedition force comes across a group of aliens with smooth, bald heads and light orange skin cowering in a cellar. They're, for they're forced to the surface and interrogated brutally by the expedition leader. The aliens are survivors from a starship that crashed in this world months ago. They found the facility as empty as we did, with one exception, a single paper book which is now ours. After careful study, the book is revealed as little more than a medical journal. Jaja. Hmm. Crap. Right. Very good. So... Hmm. 
system count as being two thirds the regular distance away. I mean, that would save us some influence, but I'd rather have more more pop growth as fast as possible. So Beta Lanka Prime, you have grown, which has made up the, the gap in food production. I think the sectors are also building um, orbital hydroponics now. Uh, uh, hydroponics. You have no projects planned. All right, then. I need to construct power plant. Energy administration, defense army, construction ship. Really? Research station. I don't have a problem with them creating defense armies. What does annoy me though is um, that they're not removing the tower blockers. Or did they do that already? Do they have any tower blockers that they could remove? Yeah, they uh, they do in fact. I can't do it. Do I really have to pull these guys out of there? To make that happen? I don't think so. Ah, while at first the medical journal seemed to be a dead end in the quest, it has in fact given us a new location to investigate. Deep in the pages of the journal, a Herc author makes reference to the location and travel times between five Herc bases in this part of the galaxy. We know all uh, about all of them except one, a seafloor research facility on an ocean world. By process of triangulation and correction for stellar drift, we are able to pinpoint its location. All right, huge amount of society research. Um, let's see where this continues. In, in Kronos? What? Ocean investigation. Yeah, it's over here. I thought it, it wouldn't be a thing that it's right in our area. All right, then. All right, then. I think I'm going to send the Imperial fleet over there. We're going to have to to get access as well. I'll just survey that system since we're going to um, settle it soonish once that colony ship is done. Beta Lankel Prime, what are you doing? So our new pop is growing. You are a fast breeder, which means that you should actually move forward fairly quickly. 1.20. Uh, new life is also helping us now. So at some point, the additional population will actually outweigh the fact that we have colonized so early. Will outweigh the fact that we have to pay additional costs and stuff. Let's go and remove that noxious... Well, no, no. That's fine. We're going to build another hydroponics farm over here, though. Automatic defense procedures initiated. Okay, so they have a fleet of 1.1k and a station with 879. They're only using patrol frigates, though, so that's something to note. Our construction ship is just going to run away, which makes sense. Anomaly found. Yeah, research the anomaly. Because why not? Uh, I'm going to have the construction ship... Station complete. ...build something, I guess. Oh yeah, that's physics research in here. Do we want to settle this planet? It's a tiny planet. It's absolutely tiny. 65% habitability. It's not great. It's going gonna, it's gonna to increase our attack costs and our other stuff. On the other hand, it's right next to... It's in another system, so... It's another cool sector. It must be one of the smallest planets that I've ever seen. Like, eight tiles? Really? It's tiny. The other one is huge. Oh yeah, where's my where's my colony ship? Definitely gotta colonize this place. Hello. Where am I gonna put this down? I think this one might be the best slot, although we won't be able to use that one right away. So maybe we'll just put it down here and uh, fill the other stuff with the stuff of our choosing, the buildings of our choosing. Let's do that. Station complete. Construction ship in better Pictoris is done. We're above our naval capacity. A little bit, but because we are now getting a fair amount of population growth, it's actually not that bad. Okay, so... Oh, wait, 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 Juret. What are you? How big are you? Well, you're not tiny. It's a continental planet. I could settle it. Push our borders further. Hmm... 
I might have to wait with that one. It's delaying our attack on the Gorn even further, which gives them even more time to build up. Mirror, mirror. Captain Autokin and the away team beam down to Gamma Aridon 4 to explore the planet. Valuable mineral compositions want further further study. However, the approaching ironstorm forces the away team to return to the ship before a team of squatters occupying several prime mining sites can be eliminated. With the rapidly increasing interference, the transporter chief nearly loses the away team's transporter patterns, but is able to beam Captain Autokin and the away team up to the IKS Huskers. Asgash safely. Following their return, the captain and the members of the away team appear to be acting strangely, trying to resolve disputes between the crew, crew using diplomacy and logic. What? What sorcery is this? The executive officer has become concerned that there may be something wrong with the away team and believes that they should be closely followed. If outside interference has affected the captain and the away team, they must be eliminated at all costs. Yes, have the captain followed. <laughs> yeah, there's the evil Spock with the with the beard. Apparently, we are the evil people. <laughs> uh, after having Captain Ordekin followed, the executive officer learns that the captain and the away team are not from this universe and are imposters from a parallel dimension. They're secretly trying to get back to where they came from, but the executive officer believes they may attempt to come back afterwards with reinforcements to impose their twisted ideology onto the people of the Klingon Empire. After ambushing the captain and the away team, the executive officer sustains a serious injury. However, Captain Otokin refuses to let the executive officer die and attempts to revive them at the expense of missing the opportunity to get back to their own universe. When the XO regains consciousness, he presses the captain and the away team for further details of their universe and why they would sacrifice their attempt to get home for the life of someone who was going to stop them by any means necessary. Put an end to this charade. I mean, can we actually travel into the universe? Find out more. Find out more. Captain and the away team from the parallel universe are escorted by the XO to the transporter room, where they attempt to repeat the process that brought them to this universe and send their own captain and the away team to the other. Before dematerializing, the captain from the other universe tells the first officer from this universe that the Klingon Empire is destined to fall apart and be conquered themselves if they do not embrace peaceful ways. Well, we'll see about that. Captain Autokin and the away team from this universe materialize on the transporter pad, looking very relieved to be back. They return with stories of a peaceful version of the IKS Husgash, where they did not fit in and were quickly apprehended and incarcerated. Despite the experience, the XO now begins to believe that the captain from the other universe had a point and that maybe their future lies down a more peaceful path. Really? I mean, Autokin gains a thousand experience. Which makes him a level 5 researcher now. Plus 10% research speed. I mean, our own maniacal guys are also getting there. Skill 6%, maniacal 5%. So once they're actually fully leveled up, they're going to be better than Autokin. Not by much. What are we doing with you? I guess we could build those mineral stations. No, we're going we're gonna to wait until we get an, an additional destroyer. Spatial rift. We found some IOTA aliens. Um, we'll tell you what, we're actually going to send the science ship um, with our other ships. Move here. To maybe have a chance to get the Sword of Kalos. The Gorn are important, but the Sword of Kalos is way more important. Let's reduce the food consumption. That's actually going to help us a fair bit in terms of not having to build crazy amounts of, uh, of stuff. Crazy amounts of orbital hydroponics. I'm going to put you on there so when you're fully grown, we actually get some more food production. 40 Eridani, Chi Orionis. Spatial rift detected. Right, we're seeing a lot of people here. Oh, these guys got nearly 3k in terms of fleet power. That's unnice, I gotta say. Hmm. They look a bit um, like the Federation. But this can't be. Why do they have Federation ships in there? What is this madness? Copper aliens. Vulcan! Oh no. Oh no. So I guess that ocean planet. Tau Ceti. Really? Okay then. Let's hope that our science ship is fast enough. No! United Federation of Planets. 
Ah, oh, god damn it. All hostilities have ceased. Respect our authority or else. We found we found the Orion Free States. Bringing you this warning. Slaving despots. Yeah. Respect our authority or else. Now let's just hope that they will actually not close their borders. Apparently they've already formed their, their federation. We've got Pajam in there. Um, Sol, Sirius. Do they have... Yeah, they got the Andorians in there as well. Crap. Okay then. Okay then. I see how it is. And we actually got to be... Lucky to get our fleet back. Let's do that. Let's send the Imperial fleet back. And the Orion Free States have closed their borders. You stupid kids. And the Federation of Planets have closed their borders. Screw you. It's actually creating a bit of a strategic problem. But yeah, now we actually have a reason to go to war with the Federation. Because I do need... Oh, and they're superior in all aspects. <laughs> Grand. Grand. These guys are... Yeah. Shame. Shame, really. Well, we're getting Gamma Iridian over there. How many planets do you have? They have 14 planets. How many do we have? Where are we? Klingon. Yeah, we also have 14 planets. And we have a lot more population. Mm, someone has suggested that I should resettle some people on Akamar. And that's actually a good thing. Because we have restricted their growth. So... I guess we should do that at some point. They're still in stellar culture shock, so they can't join any any factions or anything. But um, yeah, so until our fleet is actually back, we are kind of uh, in a difficult situation with the Gorn. Because we are wide open at the moment. Okay, protein resequencer actually gives us 10 food. Holy cow, that was a very worthwhile tech. Hmm. Advanced fertilization and cultivation techniques. I could go for that. Removing more tile blockers should have priority, though. How many tile blockers do we have? Yeah, we've got three mountain rages on Mempa. Haley Prime could now be upgraded. So that's the thing. Hmm. No mountain ranges on here. Are there mountain ranges on here? No. So we would be able to remove a whole of three things. Deep sinkhole. I think we only have sinkholes on Akamar. Because that's the only dry planet that we've settled. And they don't have any. They only have mountain ranges as well. So yeah, I think I think we're actually gonna go for the for the mountain ranges. Do something over there. Um Closed borders are annoying. But I guess it can't be avoided. I guess we really have to go to war against these guys. I could build a couple of, um, of frontier outposts in this area to push our borders further and maybe take uh, snipe a couple of systems from them. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, Imperial Fleet is very close um, to actually make the attack on the Gorn, but since they have a, th a thousand, 1,100 fleet and their spaceport, I think we'll actually build up to 2,000, maybe 2,500, depending on the things. Which means that I actually got to queue up another destroyer. Um, might soon be able to put out another destroyer, actually. So, yeah, if we get two more destroyers, we might be comfortable enough to, to go against them. The bigger ships also should have the added benefit of more range, uh, more attack power, all that kind of stuff. Um, there's no, been no improvements on here that we haven't... Put over. I mean, we're on auto upgrade, but sometimes they don't really do what I want. Is there anything else that's worthwhile? I mean, we could just go for this. Go for the engineering console instead of the tactical console. Make our ships more tanky. Increasing the armor. Increasing the hull points and the shielded points. We'll go for that. We'll actually go for that. We're going to make our ships as tanky as possible. Um, we don't have a console like that on the smaller chip types, which is fine. That's fair. We still got 1100 hull points, even on the small ships. But yeah, so for now, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. I hope you join me next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.